introduce yourself. Oh, sure. Uh, my name is James Yi. Um, I was born in Santa Barbara. My grandmother was Mary Yi. She was the last speaker of the Barbara and Neo Chumash language, and she died in 1965. And I was born in 1964, so I think I met her, but I don't remember meeting her um, in person, actually. Um, can you do a little bit of a language demonstration? And, and before you do, introduce uh, the language and. Oh, okay. And the sure. Um, well, I, I'm going to be speaking the Barbarenio Chumash language. The last native speaker, um, which means that she grew up with the language, speaking the language as her first language, was Mary Yee, my grandmother. So I'll be speaking the Barbarenio Chumash language right now. Um, so, haku haku pi tap ki santawala wala. Which means, um, do you want the translation now? Oh, it means, um, welcome you who visit Santa Barbara. Um, let's see. <laughs> so I'm, I'm still a, um, I'm only a first year speaker of the language, so I haven't progressed to the advanced level yet. To show hiki antique hippiwi ki it i, which means, um, our spirit is glad that you are visiting here. And Kakti, I'm sorry, James Yi Kakti, which means I'm, my name is James Yi. Kiki Hifiti, which means what's your name? And Mep um, Shumawish means how, how are you or are you healthy? Kash Cholit, which means I'm fine. Um, my notes a little mm -hmm. bit. <laughs> oh, I'll, um, Nuk Ake Palaktina Li, which means where do you come from? And Kaktinali Santa, Santa Walawala, which means I come from Santa Barbara. Okay. Do you need more of the language? Sure. Okay. Okay. Would you elaborate mm. um, a little bit? Elaborate a little bit on how you got started um, with the Barbara Nation language? Oh, sure. Well, um, I'm 52 now, but for, for most of my life, I wasn't interested at all in the Chumash language. And um, actually, I have a, a, a graduate degree in education, so I spent a lot of time teaching English in Japan. So I learned how um, language acquisition and how to teach the language. Of course, I was teaching English, and I already know English. Um, teaching Chumash language is very different because I'm starting from zero. I don't know the language at all. And how I got interested in it, um, I think my aunt Ernestine, my father's sister, um, she got me interested in the Chumash activities. And at first, I wasn't interested in it. She kind of had to drag me into it, and that was a few years ago. But then once I started um, getting involved in the activities and started um, being exposed to the language a little bit, um, I talked with my aunt and she asked me if I'd like to teach the Chumash language classes because of my um, background in education and teaching language. So we started classes this year in, at the end of February, so about six or seven months ago. And so I started from zero, and I didn't know what materials we had available, so I had to really gather the materials. That was very difficult, because I had to look through um, doctoral dissertations and um, some online um, sources. So it was really hard to gather the material, and I wasn't sure how to teach it. I couldn't even make a curriculum, because I didn't know what was available out there. But basically, that's how I got started teaching the Chumash and learning the Chumash language. Mm -hmm. um, can you talk about how this class is structured, what, what you do in the class, and what your hopes are for the class in the future? Um, yeah, I'm still, I'm still trying to find um, the language material, actually. So I don't know exactly how much is out there. I know there's a lot because of um, 
the notes that John Harrington, the famous linguist, left. Um, he had conversations with three of my grandmothers, my grandmother, and then her mother, and then her mother's mother as well. So there's a lot of notes on the language. Um, a lot of it is buried in the Smithsonian Institution. Um, so I'm still kind of feeling my way as I go for this first year. I think next year I'll have a more uh, better idea of the curriculum and what's out there. I'll be able to have a structured curriculum and maybe even have the beginner and also advanced language classes. I'll probably be in the beginner class, <laughs> but also teach advanced. And um, I'm sure, sorry, what was the second? Um, your hopes for the, the future of the class. OK. Um, my hopes for the future, I hope that um, I can, uh, we can raise um, speakers of Barbara and Ochumash um, who can use the language in their daily life or find areas of their daily life in which they can use the language. I don't expect every, um, anyone to become fluent, although that's my long-term goal, to become really fluent in the language, but I hope people can use the language in their daily lives, and I hope it can become part of their lives. Yeah. Yes.